Linux in Kali Linux using uh, the terminal. Uh, as you know, you can use the APT repository. So, uh, after I'll show you how to use it, uh, how to install it using Windows. So, the first thing you have to do is to open the terminal in Kali Linux. Since you know almost everything that's done in Kali Linux, you have to do it in the terminal. So, after opening the terminal, you can run these commands. Uh, each step by step, sudo apt update. The first one is just for updating your repository. Uh, yeah, you have to do it almost every time when you are installing anything in Kali Linux. Then the first, uh, the second one, you'll be installing the build essential packages. Uh, so it's sudo apt install. I'm sorry, it's sudo apt install uh, build build hyphen essential okay and then as you can see in my machine it's already installed but then on your seat you'll have to load uh, maybe for a for, for some time in here and then, then uh, it will be done so uh, after you are done installing the build essential tools now you can check the gcc version here we were installing the compiler for GCC. the gcc compiler is the c++ compiler Without this, C++ cannot be compiled. So now you can see the, G the GCC version is Debian 11.2.0-13. So yeah, depends on yours. Whichever you have, it can work. Uh, so now you can open the terminal and then you can update your, your get repository again. APT get repository. And then uh, can just give it time, just a little bit time, and then after, after uh, updating, that's when you can install code blocks. Uh, so it depends on your machine. If you have the GCC compiler installed already, you don't have to do all these other things. You can just start from uh, updating and then installing code blocks same time. So as also you can see also code blocks. Uh, it's already installed in my machine so uh, our outputs won't be the same here so now we go to you can try opening code blocks on the terminal you can just type code blocks and then open it but then first uh, let's look on how to install it using windows uh, for windows i'm not gonna be showing you everything but then uh, I will post the link under my dis my description. It's just www.codeblocks.org and then forward slash download. So you can open browser. Let's just say this is uh, my Windows machine. You can open browser and paste that link on any browser of your choice. Then uh, you go to downloads. After downloads, you'll have to download the binary, the binary release of Codeblocks. Is the setup uh, as, as uh, I think you all know for Windows the setup must be dot exe dot exe so you can see this Windows XP what 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 up to Windows 10 and then Linux and Mac OS and then the important one is Windows so you can see you can choose between source sourceforge.net and forcehub but then let's choose sourceforge just for this case uh, it depends where you want to download it yourself but then can download it anyway so you can just wait for this to load uh, okay okay immediately open this page it will take you to i mean it will give you the file to download so you can save it uh, in your windows machine uh, as you saw it's, it's code blocks setup.exe it's only for windows so okay after installing it for windows you can just install the setup and then i mean download the setup and then you go and install it same time uh, for windows it's quite easy so um, here in order to open it you can type it in the terminal code blocks or just go to your applications and open it so there you go you have your code blocks uh, software thank you for watching uh, again subscribe and like for more